Goldie and the Three Bears by Diane Stanley Goldie knew exactly what she liked. I want plain pasta with just butter and no green things, please. And what she didn't. Too high, too scary, too curly, too cold. This made things difficult for Goldie. It was hard work finding the perfect hat. I can't see. A really comfortable sweater, too scratchy. And shoes that didn't pinch her toes, too tight. But it was worth the effort because when Goldie loved something, she loved it with all her heart. Every day after school, Goldie ate her favorite snack, peanut butter with chunks, white bread, and no jelly. And she read her favorite book. And then she lay down on her just right, soft but not too soft, very, very cozy bed and took a nap. Her parents worried about her. Why don't you invite a friend over, said her dad. It'll be fun, said her mom. But it wasn't. Jenny was too boring. Penny was too rough. Alicia was too snobby. And Sylvia wouldn't come. Nobody's perfect, said her dad. But Goldie didn't want somebody perfect. She just wanted someone she could love with all her heart. One day Goldie got off at the wrong stop. She looked around for some place she could call her mom. At the end of a tree-lined lane, not far from the bus stop, she saw a cute little house. Goldie rang the bell. Nobody answered, so she turned the knob. The door wasn't locked. Goldie peeked inside. She saw three sandwiches laid out on the kitchen table. That's when Goldie noticed that she was really, really hungry. Goldie tasted the first sandwich. It was too sweet. Yuck, jelly. She tried the second one. It was too bland. It needs something. But the third sandwich was a revelation. Peanut butter with chunks, white bread, no jelly, and no crusts. She ate the whole thing. Then Goldie peeked into the living room. She saw a book on the coffee table. It was her favorite. She didn't think anyone would mind if she sat down for a couple of minutes to read it. Yikes! Once she found a comfortable chair. Hmm... Ah, she settled in for a good read. When she had finished the book, Goldie peeked into the next room. It will not surprise you to learn that she found three beds in there, and that one was too soft, one was too hard, and one was just right. Within seconds, she was asleep and dreaming. In her dream, three bears came into the house. Someone's been eating my sandwich. Mine too. I don't even have a sandwich. Then she dreamed that they went into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mine too. And reading my book. Now the dream was getting really scary. The bears came right into the bedroom. That's when Goldie realized she wasn't dreaming. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mine too. Hey, get off my bed. And that the baby bear was mad. She took a running leap. She was in the air. The minute baby bear hit the bed, Goldie went flying. When Goldie landed, baby bear went flying. Here was a surprise. Wee, said baby bear. Wee, said Goldie. Stop it shouted the other bears. You'll break the bed. The bears were very understanding about the sandwiches and the chairs and everything. Hey, Mom, guess what? They even invited Goldie to stay and play with Baby Bear. And so she did.
So, said her mom as they drove home that night, she's not too bossy? Nope, said Goldie. Not too boring? Nope, said Goldie. Not too snobby or silly or rough? Nope, said Goldie. She's just right. And she meant it with all her heart. The end. Thank you for reading with me. Now we have a craft. First thing you're going to do is take some brown paper or white paper that you colored brown or whatever color you want your bear to be. Take a ruler and cut two strips about the same size. Cut these out. Tape these together. Now measure it around your head and take the other end. Now we're going to make the ears. Fold over the rest of the paper and draw an ear shape on it. Cut that out. You should have two matching pieces now. We're also going to do the same thing for the pink part of the ear. Make it a little bit smaller than the brown. Glue these down. Now take the headband part and attach the ears. And that's it. Now you have a bear ear headband. Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next week. Bye!